The children of this school in southern Moldova rush to eat during their lunch hour like in any school in the world. But at these tables we can hear many languages, Romanian, Russian, Gagaus, Bulgarian, a reflection of the cultural richness of this small country. Although in this part of Moldova Russian is the language most widely spoken, the language at this school is Romanian, the official language of Moldova, which has gained ground in this country more than 30 years after independence. In the Gagauzian Autonomous Region, we have a law by which three languages are official, the state language, Gagauzian, and Russian. They exist in symbiosis. No one bothers anyone for using one of these languages in shops, events or jobs. But the linguistic and cultural richness has another side. Some academics say the lack of a unique Moldovan identity has put the country at risk of falling under the influence of Moscow. In 30 years, Moldova has not managed to build a unified national identity. There is a political identity. We are citizens of Moldova, but ethnic identification comes first. You are Romanian or Moldovan, Gagaus or Bulgarian, Russian or Ukrainian. The war in Ukraine further highlights a battle that is going on over media in the linguistically divided Moldovan society over propaganda. Moldovan TV channels broadcast in several languages, usually Russian, Romanian and Gagaus. For Tatiana, a Moldovan television journalist, it's very important that the current Moldovan multilingual system continues to include Russian, so that information reaches this community not only from the Kremlin's propaganda channels. Bilingual programming is necessary so that there is no division in society. 30% of our population does not speak the language of the state. They are Gagauzians, Ukrainians, Bulgarians, Russians. It is a matter of respect for this community, and they must not remain uninformed. Moldova, a former Soviet republic, last year celebrated 30 years of independence. It's paying close attention as the Russian military threatens to take control of a significant portion of Ukraine, which also was once part of the Soviet Union. For Ricardo Marquina in Kisinau, Moldova, John Spear, VOA News.